है गाइज वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द फाइव वेरी वेरी सिंपल एंड फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री इन द एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एग्जाम इन द केमिस्ट्री एग्जाम सो दिस विल बी डेफिनेटली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो बी रेडी विद द पेन एंड पेपर टू राइट डाउन ऑल द फॉर्मूलाज चॉकलेट क्वेश्चन विल सॉल्व विद चॉकलेट फॉर्मूलाज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट so the first question is on your screen let's read the question first so the question is the vapor pressure of bromobenzene above its ideal dilute aqueous solution of molality 0.1 mole per kg is 24 kilopascal and the question asks calculate the henry's laws constant for the bromobenzene so here you should analyze the question this question came in november 2017 paper of net environmental science and here you should note down first it is telling about the molality is given that is 0.1 mole per kg and here the vapor pressure is given as 24 kilo pascal so here there is a very simple chocolate formula to calculate the henry's law constant so without wasting much time let's know the simple formula the formula is vapor pressure divided by the molality will give the henry's laws constant so here the simple formula will just put the values and get the answer so here vapor pressure is given as how much it is given 24 kilo pascal i am writing only 24 you should note down the unit is kilo pascal divided by m that is the molality so molality is given how much it is given as 0.1 सो जीरो पॉइंट वन से हम जब डिवाइड करेंगे ट्वेंटी फोर को सो हाउ मच वी विल गेट वी विल गेट द वैल्यू एज टू फोर्टी सो वट इज दिस टू फोर्टी टू फोर्टी इज द आंसर येस विद द यूनिट किलो पास्कल के जी पर मोल सो दैट मीन्स ऑप्शन नंबर वन विल बी द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो वेरी वेरी सिंपल डोंट मिस दिस काइंड ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स वेरी सिंपल वेपर प्रेशर बाय मोलैलिटी विल गिव द Henry's laws constant. So here no need to go for bromobenzene. What is it formula? Simply chocolate formula, and we'll get the marks. So let's move to the next numerical. So this question is asking that at twenty five degrees Celsius, hydrogen ion concentration in an environmental aqueous solution is found to be five into ten to the power minus four mole per liter. And the question asks this implies that what will be the concentration of हाइड्रोक्सिल आयन कंसेंट्रेशन सो हाइड्रोजन आयन का कंसेंट्रेशन दे चुका है हमें हाइड्रोक्सिल आयन का कंसेंट्रेशन हमें निकालना है तो किस तरह अप्रोच करें इस क्वेश्चन को सो दिस इज अबाउट द कंसेप्ट पार्ट इफ यू नो द बेसिक सो द बेसिक इज द के डब्ल्यू कंसेप्ट ये वट इज दिस के डब्ल्यू के डब्ल्यू इज द आयोनिक प्रोडक्ट सो आयोनिक प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वाटर इज कॉन्स्टेंट एट पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर दैट इज एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस द आयोनिक प्रोडक्ट दैट इज के डब्ल्यू the value of water is 10 to the power minus 40 so here 14 denotes the ph value also yes ph is from 1 to 14 that's why this is the ionic product that is the 14 so you should remember kw is always 10 to the power minus 14 for the water that is the ionic product of particular temperature water constant which is 10 to the power minus 14 which is equal to how much it is equal to hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by hydroxyl ion concentration so don't get confused with these two terms hydroxyl matlab oh minus hydrogen ion is h plus so here what we have to do 10 to the power minus 14 we know the value of kw is equal to what we all know we know that is given hydrogen ion concentration so we'll write down here it is given 5 into 10 to the power minus 4 i'm not writing the unit you should remember it is given mole per liter multiplied by the oh minus concentration that is the hydroxyl ion concentration which we have to find so hum isko x le lete hain let us take it as x so after solving this i am not solving this because very simple you have to divide this 1 by 5 then you will get the value as 0.2 and when we will multiply it with 10 to the power minus 10 finally we will get the value as 2 into 10 to the power minus 11 so it is how much it is the unit for mole per liter that is the concentration for the hydroxyl ion so option number 3 will be correct that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 11 mole per liter is the concentration of hydroxyl ion so you should remember kw is equal to h plus ion concentration multiplied by oh minus concentration and kw value is always 10 to the power minus 14 so somewhere it will be given oh minus concentration you have to find h plus 
somewhere it will be given h plus ion concentration we have to find OH minus so in this way if you know this formula you can solve this question with the very very short time and you'll get the full marks so I hope you are noting down all these formulas let's move on to the next question so this question is also one of the frequently asked questions in the environmental science examination so let us read the question the question asks when a biomass is converted to carbon monoxide and water the energy made available is approximately 450 kilojoule per mole of carbon per unit of reduction level so it never per per laga hai but don't need to worry you will solve with the very easy concept so the question is asking what would be the heat of combustion per gram of methane so here concept plays the role and here it is telling that methane is burned yes methane when it is burned it is producing carbon monoxide and water so we'll write down the equation first the so equation is the methane is burning with whom with oxygen that means oxidation is going on so oxygen will be consumed what it will give it will give rise to carbon monoxide and water so it is all given in the question itself no need to worry about this so methane burning giving rise to carbon monoxide and water and burning you should know oxygen will be consumed so here this equation will not help us to find the solution we have to balance this equation yes I may balance karna hai so let us balance this equation 2 here it will be 2 here it will be 3 and then here it will be 2 very bad handwriting but you should note down this very important and here 4 so this is the balanced equation for burning of methane and now from balance equation what we will know that 2 mole of methane is burned yes so here 2 moles of methane are consumed for the balance equation so that will be used in the formula so it is given that 450 kilojoule per mole of carbon per unit of reduction level the energy is released so that means that is per mole but here it is given 2 mole so 450 multiplied by 2 here it will be there because it is giving for per mole you should remember here it is given per mole but it is 2 mole consumed as per the balanced equation so 450 multiplied by 2 that will also not give the answer we have to divide it with the molecular weight of methane so methane molecular weight very simple it is 16 how carbon is 12 and hydrogen is 1 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 so 12 plus 4 would be 16 so methane that is CH4 the molecular weight is 16 so we have to divide it with 16 to get the combustion heat per gram of methane so here after solving this we will get the value as 56.25 kilojoule per kg that means it is giving the hint it is giving the answer that option 2 is correct so in this way we can solve the question so we should analyze how much is given for per mole and then we have to find how much mole is consumed for one equation that is balance equation we have to multiply it with that much mole and divide it with the molecular weight of that compound which is burning that is methane here so 16 divided so answer will be 56.25 kilojoule per gram so in this way also we can solve very simple question for this kind of question from the biomass waste management now let's move on to the next question so the next question is on our screen let's read the question first the question is what will be the concentration of citric acid if 25 ml of the citric acid solution is titrated with 28.12 milliliter of 0.1718 normality of KOH that is potassium hydroxide and here very simple formula from class 11 we know the formula is N1V1 is equal to N2V2 or else if it would have given molarity then we could have included M1V1 is equal to m2v2 where m is equal to molarity but here it is given n that is normality so we'll take the equation as n1v1 is equal to n2v2 so n1 let us take we will find the concentration so normality molarity all these are concentration you should note down this so here to find out the concentration of citric acid we will keep n1 as n1 and v1 how much it will take we'll take 25 ml of that much citric acid that one will be 9 n1 into 25 is equal to second normality is how much 0 0.1718 so 0 0.1718 multiplied by volume of 2 that is second volume is given as 28.12 so we will multiply it with 28.12 and then what we will get n1 will be this much divided by 25 so here 
I am roughly doing that you should do it properly so we will divide this by 25 and we will get the value as 0 0.193 normality or it is approximately equal to 0 0.2 normality so this will be the concentration of the citric acid with the 25 ml volume so this formula you should remember n1v1 is equal to n2v2 or m1v1 is equal to m2v2 when molarity is given so this is the chocolate formula to get the chocolate marks let's move to the next question so this question is on your screen so no need to look into the partial solution which i have already placed on this slide let us read the question first the question came in november 2017 again so the question is at 25 degrees celsius and one atmospheric pressure one parts per million concentration of sulfur dioxide is equivalent to how much so here some of you would have by hearted the number that is the answer that is 2620 microgram per meter cube but you should know what is the process to get this value what is the process to solve this numerical so formula to be used will be at stp condition standard condition that is 25 degrees celsius and one atmosphere where it is given in the question that is the stp condition one mole of gas occupies 24.5 liter so this is from the formula that is the stp condition standard condition and we know pv is equal to nrt ideal gas equation so here or v is equal to nrt by p from that we got that volume is equal to 24.5 liter you should remember this thing this is the constant for stp condition which is 25 degrees celsius and 1 atm so now we will know the molecular weight of sulfur dioxide is 64 gram per mole so how we know very simple sulfur ka molecular weight kitna hai so weight of sulfur molecular weight is how much it is 32 and the molecular weight of oxygen is how much it is 16 so 16 into 2 again 32 so o2 is 32 sulfur is 32 total will be 64 molecular weight of 64 gram per mole that is sulfur dioxide molecular weight two things we know 24.5 liter is the volume 64 gram per mole is the sulfur dioxide molecular weight now we will find with the help of this brahmastra this formula that is ppm to calculate that is parts per million the formula is concentration that is given in the microgram per meter cube multiplied by the volume that is 24.5 liter per mole divided by molecular weight that is gram per mole that will be the unit and to balance the equation we have to multiply with 1000 that is milliliter per meter cube multiplied by gram so this formula you should note down to find the ppm of any solution any gas so here how much will be the concentration so concentration will come to this side and we'll put all this value and we'll get that 1 ppm multiplied by 64 multiplied by 1000 divided by 24.5 will give us the answer for this question and after solving all this thing we will get the value 2612.24 so you have to calculate and tell me whether i am correct or wrong so here this value is close to this value that is 2620 microgram per meter cube so that option will be correct that is the concentration of sulfur dioxide when these conditions are given 25 degrees celsius one atmospheric pressure one ppm and we know that the molecular weight of sulfur dioxide is 64 gram per mole if any other gases are given we have to calculate similarly the molecular weight and we have to just put it in this formula this formula is very important note down i am repeatedly saying to find this answer so i hope you have learned some new things new formulas and you have enjoyed the video this will be helpful in the examination and there is a playlist for the environmental chemistry so you can go through that playlist i'll put that in the i button as well as in the description there is mcq some of the fundas are also cleared so go and check it out and if you like this don't forget to subscribe the channel hit that notification icon to get all further updates and stay tuned keep smiling and believe in yourself